I love you too. Hello darlings, how have you all been this week? Goodness, the weeks are flying past, aren't they? Well, it's been a bit of a week this week. We've been down to the Newport Workshop Open Days in Melbourne and we caught a train and then a metro train and then we caught a bus and all the way to Newport and we got on this old fashioned 1940s bus and you know how I love anything that's old and it actually was made in 1952 but it was just so beautiful and vintage and the stickers and everything they had up on the walls was wonderful. I wanted to get some photos but I couldn't because it was packed with people and I couldn't, I didn't want to get people's faces in it. A lot of people don't like that. So unfortunately, I didn't get any photos of inside the bus. Bert got a few and I'll put them in. So this week is mainly about our train trip. We had a wonderful time going down. It, the train is just so relaxing. It's just so easy. You just hop on it and then you hop off it where you're supposed to be. And oh, just so easy. And we met up with some lovely people at the train station and Oscar got on with them like a house on fire because they're all train buffs. So they were talking all about trains and things that I don't understand. All the way down, these little boys. And, you know, it's just so wonderful. But it was hot. Oh boy, was it hot. 39 degrees. And of course, these are historical trains. So they've got the puffing trains and the steam trains. And it was very hot. But we didn't let that bother us. I'd taken iced water and we had plenty of water and we sat in the shade for a while. I did some knitting and yeah, just did what we had to to self-regulate because it was very overwhelming because there were so many people there. I bought myself a lovely thermos. So I really enjoyed that day out. It was just such a good day. Yes, I love you too, Lucy. Lucy's been her normal gorgeous self. No news there. How's your mental health been? Have you been looking after yourself and doing something for yourself every single day? Have you been self-regulating? All these things we have to do. We cannot let them slip a day because we'll go downhill. I find that my routine is the most important thing for me and I stick to that every single day. I've also got a cleaning routine too that really helps me. So on special days, I do special things of the week so the house never really gets a mess. I also put the timer on and I clean for one hour every day and only one hour. So the rest of the time it's just, you know, normal cleaning up after you've had lunch and things like that. But dedicated cleaning time is now an hour a day. And that's thanks to you guys. I so appreciate it. You've kept me so entertained with your comments and interactions that I enjoy sitting down in the afternoon with a pot of tea or a cup of coffee and I answer my questions and my comments and I connect with you and I love it so much. So thank you so, so much. I don't have any words of wisdom or much this week because to be quite honest, I'm just still burnt out from the train show. It was a big thing. Um, I took a backpack for the first time and I pulled a muscle in my shoulder. <sighs> But that's what happens when you get older. You don't realise how easily you can hurt yourself. Things that wouldn't have worried you years ago, they do now. But anyway, we had a lovely time. So I hope you enjoy the photos and there's lots of them. So make a cuppa and I'll try and put some details on as to what trains are what because I'll need Oscar to tell me with that. And hopefully you will enjoy it.
What did you think, darlings? What did you think? Ah, oh, wasn't it amazing? Those old trains, they could tell you so much, so much, so much history. Going into that building, that was the first time it was opened up. Yeah, oh, it was amazing. The, the vibe in there was unreal. I could sort of picture all the meetings that had been around the table. I love you too, Lucy. And, you know, and all the generations that have been in there and it was just sobering to see all the work that people have put into it. These volunteers, they do the best job ever. I really loved the Lego and I'm very, very happy that Bert got to film that because I didn't. By the time they were looking at the Lego, I was flaked out underneath the tree knitting. So that's what, that's what happened for me. Um, but Bert got it on film with Oscar. So a lot of these photos are from Oscar. So didn't he do a great job he had his own camera and he thoroughly enjoyed it but uh i hope you enjoyed it and i'm sending lots and lots of love from beautiful ballarat and still recovering and i hope you're all well leave me a comment and take care and god bless till next time bye for now it's still muggy isn't it lucy it's still muggy it's just muggy 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 yes I think you need to go in your pond and have a cool off. Oh, lots of kisses, so many kisses. Yes.